In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP. For this tutorial, you'll need a computer or a virtual machine and a copy of Windows XP. The first thing you need to do is insert the Windows XP CD in your machine and reboot it. I'm going to be doing this in a virtual PC. So once you stick the Windows XP CD in your machine, you want to reboot it and boot from the CD. With most computers, you press F12 or go into the BIOS and change the boot order. I'm going to pause the video here until this lo fin is finished loading. Once the setup is finished loading, you'll be greeted with this screen. You're going to want to press enter to install Windows XP. You're going to have to press F8 to agree to the license for Windows XP. By default, if you have a blank hard drive in your computer, Windows XP will use the whole hard drive as one partition for the operating system. You can change this by pressing creating your own partitions or however you want to do it. For this, we're just going to use the whole disk. So press enter. If there is already partitions created, you can use the D key to de delete the partitions so you can make new ones. All right. You want to partition the hard drive with the NTFS file system. The setup is now going to format the hard drive and then copy the setup files to the hard drive and then reboot and begin installing Windows XP. I'm going to pause the video here until the system reboots. Once you reach this screen, your computer will now restart and boot into Windows XP installer. You don't want to press any key to boot from the CD, you just want to let it keep on going. The Windows XP install is pretty much almost fully automated. There's only a few dial prompts that you have to fill out. I'm going to pause the video until the first prompt comes up. This is the first dialog box you'll see when installing Windows XP. In this dialog box you can change your language and where you are located if you want to. For this tutorial we're going to keep it in English. Hit next. Type in the name. Hit next. Here you'll enter your product key for Windows XP. I'm going to pause the video and insert my product key and hit next. After you enter your product key, you're going to you can enter change your computer name. This is how your computer will be seen on your network. Enter your password if you want. This is optional. Hit next. Change your time and date if you want. Your time time zone also. I'm going to pause the video here until the next dialog box comes up. In this dialog box, we'll be setting up our network settings. Hit next. If you have a different work group set up in your house or a domain, you can enter the work group or the domain. Hit next. 
I'm going to pause this video here until the next dialog box comes up. Once the setup is finished, the, your system will now restart and boot into your newly installed Windows XP. From here you might want to install the drivers from your computer and any software you want to have on your new system. <coughs> from this menu you're going to select OK. If you see the actual desktop background, hit OK, but since I don't see it, I'm going to hit cancel. Most likely you won't see it either, so hit cancel. Now your Windows XP is configuring your desktop and getting it ready for you to use it. Enter your password if you created one. And now you're finished. You have your newly installed Windows XP.